I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey. It's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough. What are you hiding there, girlie? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Wow, sir. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. 
I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. at all. Come on, Max! Hurry! Damn! Something is blocking the drum. Definitely use this bad boy. I 
can pull a total MacGyver. I'm getting dizzy. I can't rewind anymore. City. But which wire to cut? Now that's the right cable. The train's coming! Yes! I did it! You okay? You saved me again! Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn, that was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. I don't see how. It's so friggin' random. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again.
have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please? I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Trevor surveys his domain. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? There was just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me now. Carrying a gun to class is cool, though. Justin always looks dumb. Maybe you owed money to Frank, too. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max.
Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of so getting attention. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Think, big brain, think. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. This can't be that hard. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the- Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. And yours might be the one that decided. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing here, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but 
I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Why? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. Bring me the brain, Igor. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help means you're... Have to add either a bit of... Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? No. I just don't want Kate Marsh to be the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Not right now. I'll tell you everything as 
As soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Daniel is always on the outside looking in. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Whoa. Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. I like Taylor's artistic side, not her personality. Like anybody does. No time to Max talk, Max. Max is Art such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. I should have told the principal about Nathan and the gun just for life insurance. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to- It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually- 
Lucky. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation... I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Rewind again and again. doing here Max stop don't come near me not now it won't work I don't have any power now I have to do this by myself Max seriously don't come near me I will jump okay okay I'm right here Kate please oh Max I know you want to help me I love that you stepped up to David but it doesn't matter now nothing matters You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Hey, 
Wait, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good, we all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. 
The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? 